Hey guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. As you can tell, I'm feeling a little bit better in this video than I did at the end of last week's video. So that's a great start uh, to this vlog. So uh, if you're new, welcome. My name is Karina and I am known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube and other social media platforms such as, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on <laughs> Instagram, and you can find me on Patreon. I also have Etsy shop, all links down below if you want to check them out. Brain fog, first thing, way to go, way to go. I am getting ready to, well, I've already wrapped a couple of Christmas gifts, but I'm getting ready to wrap a few more. Um, I have Jeremy's Christmas gift right here. He already knows what it is. We didn't get a whole lot for each other for Christmas this year. Um, we spent roughly around uh, 100 bucks on each other between one gift and some stocking stuffers, because we do stockings every year. So that's what we did. We kind of spent a hundred bucks on each other and uh, we bought uh, Selena probably seven or eight smaller gifts this year. So she has more underneath the Christmas tree than just a couple of bigger gifts. And her birthday's in January. So I mean, her birthday and Christmas are like literally next door to each other. So um, that's that. So she's gonna be pretty excited when she gets her stuff, uh, when she sees it. She was expecting books. Um, we went to go and buy books on Amazon for her and when we went to go to the checkout everything was out of stock so books She's expecting books for her birthday. So Which is good. She could be wanting other things My room is a mess. It may not seem like a mess to a lot of people, but it's a mess and uh, So I'm, I'm gonna clean up. I did get some more If I can pick them up uh, these wooden boards right here. I got these at Walmart. They were seven dollars for two They seem like they're much better quality than the other board that I was using uh, for those transfer pictures so I'm gonna get ready and do that again and because I um, Mistakenly put the pictures on in reverse the last time I'm gonna reverse the pictures first on the computer before I print them So they print out to the way we were standing when the pictures were taken if you don't know in the previous video I was trying to make some Christmas gifts for my parents Huge friggin fail I'm gonna make attempt number two today So I gotta do that clean up put all of this resin stuff away. I'm a little bit frustrated with that um, I'll go into it later. I had to edit the other vlog that I don't have this like today's vlog ready yet so and I've already got another one started I've got to wrap up the other half of my parents Christmas gift that I got them wrap up Jeremy's clean up the table because it looks like a tornado hit it and uh, this is very untidy for me and then um, the kids should be home from school because they're getting out for Christmas I'm spitting everywhere Christmas break today um, earlier and the bay uh, we live by bay uh, the ocean is like 10 minutes away and the bay is just white it's uh it's, it's snowing off and on uh, but it's not that cold outside but i'm gonna go and get some things done so i can finish my 50 stickers which still aren't done i don't have the original done for patreon the button is finished the sticker is finished and i wanted to make a print as well i got a lot to do not a lot of time to do it I want to get all of this done by Sunday. I don't want to have to do any work stuff after Jeremy is done work next week. I just want to get it done. So let's get cracking. Right, guys so I've been to the mail and I've had some issues uh, I ordered this gloss paper that I had mentioned and this paper and this paper was in a humongous box with this heavy stapler and along the way I believe this stapler killed a pack of the paper which is these over right here so these are uh, supposed to be matte waterproof paper and uh, <laughs> they're they're all pretty well ruined um, there's nine sheets there that I could possibly use. I may be able to do something with these, but it's highly unlikely. You can see the ridge marks in there from what I think is the stapler. So I just got off the phone. There's more. It's like, and then some of it's covered in dirt. Like I could use this portion of the paper and not print right here. 
Um, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, this was $18.99 and Amazon refunded the full amount and told me to keep uh, what I can use. So there are nine sheets that I can definitely use, but the rest of these is a hit or miss. They're also covered in dirt um, on some of it. So there's maybe some corners I'd have to cut, but they refunded this entire um, this purchase right here, which was $18.99. This one right here, I paid for 50 sheets and it was 55 and change. Um, I opened them up and something told me to count them and I have 40 sheets. And this one has dirt on it, uh, which makes me believe that this package was either opened or somebody just didn't put the right amount of paper in there. So I'm going to use this one here. It has like um, a test sheet, so to speak. Um, I didn't do this. This is why I was thinking that the package was open because it came with just this little sticker stuck on like that. But all of this seal right here was broken before I even took this off. That's why I was suspecting that the package was opened. So there's 10 sheets and times four in here. And that was all. So they didn't want me to send the paper back, but they couldn't send me an extra 10 sheets. So they gave me the price of a 40 pack mat which was $45 or something like that. They refunded $11.99 or $11.89 or something for this. So in total, I'm getting almost a $30 refund because um, Amazon, I guess people in packaging, doesn't they don't know what they're doing or I know it's busy there and I know that mistakes can happen, um, but you don't throw a heavy stapler in with paper and I don't understand how the paper is dirty and not all accounted for. That's my problem. But uh, I'm going to try the paper out, see what happens, see what I can salvage from this. It is all free now, so even if I can get a couple pages out of it, it's it's better than nothing. I still have to test it to make sure that uh, it is waterproof, so I'll do that a bit later. Uh, the package even came. It's filthy. Uh, I don't know if this company, um, the Photo Paper Direct, would be happy with how this package was um, presented because it is their company, right? And Amazon is fulfilling the orders. So maybe I might reach out to them and to let them know that this is what I received. And um, I know I did get a, a partial refund for it, but they, they really should know that this is how Amazon is sending out their product. It's just, it's not right. All right, guys, so after that long rant, I have another order over here that I'm doing. I sent one out today. I didn't record it being packaged because this week has been a little hectic. Uh, so I just wanted to get it done and get it out. So this one came in last night. So I'm going to get it packaged up over the weekend and get it in the mail on Monday. I have my boards ready. I'm going to use these things instead of a paintbrush this time. And I'm going to be using the Mod Podge again. I wanted to show you guys the stapler and I didn't even take it out of the package. So for those of you that have been around for a while, you know that there's a never ending roll of toilet paper in my studio. Well, I've upgraded to a box of tissues and um, the roll of toilet paper will be uh, in hiding for quite some time. They had a pack of six boxes of tissue on sale at the local grocery store for $2.99. I may have bought about 10 boxes of six, maybe, maybe, yeah, I did. <laughs> so I'm good with tissues for a while and this is so much nicer on the nose just saying um I did pick up a couple of candles this is the only thing that I splurged on today while I was in Gamer that I probably shouldn't have bought um but it stinks in the house so <laughs> this one here is an amethyst um there we go let's look at this side it doesn't really say what the smell is but if you guys had uh sensory like smelling sensors in the video it would you, you'd like it it's really nice uh it's kind of fruity almost a little bit and then i have this one here it's called opal i got these at um sh uh, not shoppers dominion in gander today uh, this one here kind of smells like vanilla a little bit mixed in with something else. And I thought they were really nice. I'm going to reuse these jars once the wax is gone for like putting pens and, and pencils and stuff in. And maybe even some stuff um, that I have over here, maybe like the washi tapes or something. So I'm going to reuse the jars because they are really nice. These are 10 bucks each. They're usually 24 for two, but they're on sale for 10 so um, I may have to go back and get another one the next time I get groceries, but I'm going to burn one of these right now. Package this order up, hopefully later tonight. I'm going to take this out of the box so I can show you, get this done, and we'll see where we go from there because I still have to edit the vlog 
for today and it's already quarter to three so wish me luck is the long arm stapler that I ordered. Uh, it was $22. These things are fairly cheap and they just take regular staples. Um, can go through 20 sheets of paper, I believe. And Pixie's trying to get in the room here. Let's let her in, I guess. Come on. Archer is in on the couch with the kid because they're done school now. Um, but yeah, so uh, this one here I purchased so I can make some notebooks. Uh, so I have to come up with some designs for covers and everything. And I have a lot of things in mind sticking to things that I still like. This is uh, this is going to come in handy. So I can't wait to show you guys what I have in mind uh, for that. And I also want to do a little book that you can buy in my Etsy store of some of my sketches. And maybe like uh, I want to put together like a little booklet. And I have uh, Affinity Publisher to be able to help me do that. So that's something that I have in mind for next year as well. I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's something that I'm going to bind myself and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So, and I'm going to go get some work done because I'm tired of talking. So and I'm going to light this candle. That's, that's the plan. A little bit excessive, but it gets the job done. It smells really nice. It's kind of like a vanilla floral type thing. If only you guys could smell it. I'm only going to light one because I'm afraid the too much of the smell is going to irritate my sinuses. But it smells really nice. Guys, I'm so confused right now. I apologize for the heater that you can hear in the background. But this is a graveyard of buttons over here because my button press doesn't want to work. Uh, I'm using the same paper that I always have, uh, which is the just regular matte photo paper and it's never been too thick but it's not working all of the buttons they just uh they won't wrap around the edges so i'm trying it on plain paper to see how it looks because clearly this is not working for whatever reason and it is the paper that i've always used because it prints the nicest so i'm gonna try with plain paper, see how it works, but I've ruined like 24, 25 buttons so far, I believe, and it is such a waste. <sighs> Always got problems. And there you have it. Regular printer paper. And it worked perfectly fine. This right here, this one is my old paper, and it's perfectly fine. So this... I, I, this is, there doesn't seem to be any difference. This one right here is the photo paper and the one next to it is the, just the regular printer paper. I don't see any difference in the printing whatsoever. So maybe I just need to continue using just regular plain paper from now on rather than wasting all of this. Cause I mean, oh, I could cry. Anyway, problem solved. I should have tried this after I got the first 12 ruined, but you know, lessons learned. Hey guys, so this is the new freebie sticker that I've created to go in with my Etsy orders going forward. I have what you see here on the table and I have to cut them out by hand because of after ruining two sheets of this paper through the Cricut machine. And I don't know if it's the mat that's not tacky enough, but I did tape it down around the outside or if because this paper is just not as thick as the photo paper direct paper, then I don't need to cut it around four times because that's how often I have to cut around the images to get them to cut out when I'm doing like die cut stickers. So I'm cutting this this many out by hand and it's going to be the freebies uh i don't know if i'm going to get this many etsy orders in the next couple of months uh there's a lot of new things happening in the world right now and i'm sure you know what i'm talking about so i'm not going to bring it up on here but at least i have uh have these many anyway and my patrons are going to be getting one of these in their rewards in the sticker tier and up this month as well so what they are they're called row houses i'll refer to them as um 
as jelly bean row houses and what they are they're not as whimsical as what I have drawn here but in the city of St. John's here in Newfoundland they have a lot of old houses that are all in a row and they have them painted like a big array of different vibrant colors and you can look it up online you can google it if you type in jelly bean row houses St. John's um, you'll be able to find it so I thought that I would do some little whimsical ones like this and add them in as a little thank you and it's just an extra sticker so this is a Cricut paper I don't use Cricut paper to send out my stickers that people buy in Etsy anymore. I think the paper is as good as the photo paper direct paper that I have. How many more times am I going to say paper? I also have over here two more crystal cluster memo pads that I have to make because I sold out of the ones that I had so I just want to replenish. I usually kind of do two at a time just in case I have a cop. So I'm going to go get this done and I have a few more things that I need to do today and but I'll pop in with you guys a little bit later. All right guys so I'm printing out another batch of these row house stickers and I'm actually using that crappy all bent up waterproof paper that I purchased off of Amazon. I don't even know what the brand name of the paper is. I'll try to stick it in the video in the corner here somewhere to let you guys know what it was like. I mean the co it prints really nice on here like it, it looks nice and vibrant. There's towards the other end it's where the paper is all bent and buckled. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some testing and see if it withstands um the water like it says it's going to so we're going to experiment just a little bit see if it is waterproof uh, because just because the paper says it's waterproof doesn't mean to say the ink is going to do what it's supposed to do you know what I mean you can see right here that the paper is all bent and buckled so this row here is okay and the next two rows of stickers might be okay but you can see a great big divot like a big dent gone through the paper. I'll show you guys at a different angle if I can. It's probably not going to be that noticeable here now, but you can see it right here at the end and this goes all the way through the center of the paper. So um, it is possible that I might get a few stickers out of this. So we'll see what happens and let's go do a uh, waterproof test thingy. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> let's go and check and see if it's waterproof. All right, guys, excuse my nasty hands here, but these are the waterproof stickers that I just cut out on the Cricut. And I must say, um, I don't see any evidence after these were cut out that the paper was even bent at all. So maybe I might be able to make a bit more use out of those stickers than I, the sticker paper than I thought I would. But it could just be uh, just a fluke. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and we are going to go and stick it on a cleaner bottle that I have in the kitchen and put some water on it and see if the ink runs. All right guys, sorry about the quality of the light. The light in the kitchen is not the greatest, but I have the row house sticker put on the container of uh, disinfecting wipes and I have a really wet paper towel and I'm just going to have at it. The ink is coming off. Uh, it's coming off the paper, but it's not a lot. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit. So, I mean, it probably could, I mean, I'm scrubbing here too. So, I mean, if you're have, if you have this on your water bottle and you're just rinsing your water bottle over, that's all you're doing with it. And you're not like physically like scratching at it or putting it in the dishwasher or anything like that. Um, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal and I actually think it would last for a little while so uh, these could go on like phone cases or they could um, go on your water bottles things like that I don't know if I'd put them outside they might fade quite a bit but I mean I'm still I'm still scrubbing at it pretty good here and the ink is still pretty well intact like I'm, I'm scrubbing really hard so man you wouldn't like normally do that so um, I think the paper is is pretty decent for what it is. I mean, you can start seeing it. Oh, there we go, look at this. Now that it's wet, I can scratch the ink off. So it'll be okay under light water uh, situations, but not with the scrubbing and probably not dishwasher use or anything like that, so.
Okay guys, so this is the Cricut paper that I have that I've been saying isn't worth even buying. Sorry about the the light here. It's uh, pretty dingy today. It's cloudy and raining and the sky looks like a mixture between a black and a blue right now. So this is what we're getting. Um, this is what happened. It's not because this came off the mat at all because I did cut some more last night. Just this paper is so crap um, that this is what's happening. So, needless to say, I better push back this candle just a little bit here so I don't catch something on fire. Um, I may have gotten a couple of things out of this, but it looks like I got nothing. So, I'm going to reprint these. These are supposed to be just little um, extra stickers for freebies and things like that. So, the Boston Cream Donut and Tim's. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is, I guess, salvage the, the Boston Cream Donuts because these cut out okay. And put them to one side but then everything else uh, is just a mess and I'm gonna print them off on some better paper and <laughs> see what I can get that way but this is just this is garbage. Guys, I did a death's head moth for the patreon exclusive sticker for December because I did Christmas stuff and I sent it out so that the patrons would get it for December uh, so this is my death's head moth this is my exclusive sticker I will have a variant of it for Etsy, but this is the first time using this um, photo paper direct uh, glossy paper, so I hope the patrons are going to like it. I'm going to put it on the mat here, and I'm going to tape this one down real good because it's going to be cut four times, and I'm going to have to put some tape over the lines here anyway because my Cricut doesn't want to read glossy paper. It never has. So I'm going to do that. I've got some matte sticker, uh, matte sticker, matte um, tape here that I'm going to put over the lines to help it read. And hopefully, fingers crossed, these cut out perfect the first well, time. I remember how I said I hope these cut right on the first go? That's yeah, not happening. I kind of figured that was going to happen. So I'm just going to pull this off and I'm going to cut these out uh, by hand this time until I can figure this situation out. And the worst case scenario is that I might have to go over these lines with like a, a sharpie or something but clearly it it's cutting the way that it should it's just down way too far so paper is really good the the stickers look really nice and vibrant and like i was saying i do have a variant that's going to be in my update shop my update shop my shop update <laughs> in january probably looking at the middle ish of january or so but i'll make an announcement a little bit later but. hey guys so i spent the a little bit of time this afternoon drawing the original for ashley for the um, she's in the ultimate goodies box so she gets uh, an original mini painting every month that she's a patron uh and she i gave her the voting option this month and she picked kiwi um, the fruit or the bird so I did a bird and uh, I didn't know what to do with the kiwi as I was going I'm like well let's just add in some crystals and some mushrooms because that's what I'm good at uh, so that's what I did and she's seen the sketch so I'm, I'm sh that's why I'm showing it now um, but going forward uh, I'm not going to give any hints or anything so I will take a little clip of it um, as I'm going but then I'll probably show it in a later video um, if if that comes up because I don't want to ruin the final outcome for her. So I'm just going to go and uh, start using the watercolors here to start painting this. And I'm probably going to end up throwing in some Copics in there as well. And uh, I got my Fine Tech paints right behind there too. So there might be a couple shiny aspects uh, showing up in the painting. But... Inspire my soul with your music. Play me something you think I would like. You <laughs> 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 